Hallelujah, glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel, and I'm pleased to have you here again on my channel. If this is your first time, thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you for stopping by and deciding to click on this video and maybe for that deciding to becoming a part of us by subscribing. Thank you. I pray God blesses you in the name of Jesus. I've got this prophetic word for someone. God says, not yet. Do not give up yet. Do not give up yet. All hope is not lost yet. You cannot give up as long as you are alive. You know, the woman with the issue of blood had been carrying that for... And there is a tendency that when you carry that kind of disease for that long, your faith becomes weak and you just tell yourself, this is my faith, I'm going to die like this. But that woman did not give up. She kept pressing. She kept pressing. She did not give up. She pressed on until she finally received her healing. Another strong man of God that I respect a lot is David. Him and his men went for battle and on coming back, their enemies had invaded their land and taken away their, their wives and, and taken away so many things from them. Ah, you can imagine what happened to David. The people he went with, they turned against him like, you brought this upon us. If we were here, they would not have taken our wives and maybe children. And all of that and David himself his family was taken away so David had to deal with his strong men and he had to deal with himself because he lost his wives too in the process they took the wives along and they took those of his strong men David was faced on two fronts and the Bible says after he finished crying he encouraged himself in the Lord he did not give up he encouraged himself in the Lord and he inquired of the Lord should I pursue Will I overtake? If he gave up, it would have been end of story. But he decided to inquire of the Lord and to pursue and overtake. He did not give up. And God backed the fact that God told him, pursue, you're going to overtake and recover all. That is the word of the Lord to someone. God is saying, do not give up yet. There is still something in there for you. Say to that mountain, be thou removed. Speak it. Declare it. Do not feel defeated in, in, the, in the presence of, uh, uh, of adversity. Do not feel defeated when you see a mountain standing on your way. Do not tell yourself you are just like a grasshopper. The mountain is looking at you and they are scared of you. Or the giants are looking at you and they are scared of you. And you are scared of them. Do not minimize yourself because God is with you. Do not give up yet. God can always turn that situation around, but you've got to encourage yourself. You've got to be determined that you are not giving up. When Elijah was praying for there to be rain, it was hard work for him. He kept sending his servants, go and check. Are there any signs of rain? His servants will come back and tell him, no, not yet. No sign. The Bible says he wrapped his legs and sent his head in between. He prayed hard and still it, the rain were not coming. And the last time he sent his servant, go and check. He kept praying. The servant came and said, I see a cloud like a man's hand. If he gave up, it wouldn't have rained, but he continued. He continued praying. This word is coming for someone. Maybe you are at the edge of giving up because you feel like things are difficult. Hmm. The Bible says, Elijah was a man of like passion like you and I, but he prayed. He prayed endlessly and things changed. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. If your faith is into something, God cannot say otherwise. You've got to pray it. When you're done praying it, you decree and declare You've got to do it until you see results. The Bible says the power of life and death, they are in the tongue. It means that if you desire to seek life, speak it. If you desire to see victory, speak it. Whatever you desire to see, speak it. Do not give up until that thing you are speaking is manifested. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I pray that this, this message helps you to hold on not to give up yet, to push one more time, to press on one more time, forgetting everything that is behind you. Keep pressing on towards the mark of the high calling. There is more for those who press on. There is more for those who do not give up. There is more for those who believe that God can change things. There is more for you. Do not give up. Press on. 
God is with you. God is on your side. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Until I see you again with good testimonies of how your being resolute has made things good for you. I remain your humble intercessor. Have a wonderful day. I love you. Bye-bye.